The WOW signal was detected on uh, August 15, 1977 by uh, Dr. Jerry Amon. It's the most popular possible signal from aliens that we've found. You'll see a series of six characters and that's circled and the word WOW with an exclamation point is written next to it. And that's basically a set of characters telling you the strength of the signal that the telescope detected. There was this program at Ohio State back in the 70s, 80s, 90s um, called the Ohio State Radio Observatory, which was sort of nicknamed the Big Ear. It was this flat, uh, sort of three football fields in size telescope. It scanned the sky for radio signals, for signals of possible life. So this particular search was the longest running search in human history, 22 years of constant monitoring of the sky at night. The radio telescope could be sort of tuned like the radio in your car so that you could look for light at a variety of different frequencies. Uh, so they picked the frequency, one in particular, which was the frequency at which neutral hydrogen produces light, uh, because neutral hydrogen is the most common thing in the universe. So any intelligent species who's intelligent enough to know anything about space is going to know about neutral hydrogen. The fact that this signal occurred at that frequency is interesting. It sticks around in popular culture and in the scientific mind because it hasn't been explained. We're so eager to jump to aliens because everyone wants aliens. Yeah, everyone wants aliens. That would be awesome to find aliens. And aliens can, it's sort of like a, a, a fix-all that you can put in and say, well, we don't understand it. It must have been aliens because aliens could do anything. So it's easy to sort of explain. But perhaps if we search the skies long enough, we'll find maybe something like it. Maybe there are other things. If it isn't aliens and it's some natural phenomenon, maybe we'll see it again. And if they are aliens, maybe they'll start sending out another signal.